Hello and welcome back to Garen River vs. Among Trees. Not Among the Trees, as I keep mistakenly calling it, uh, where I'm getting confused with the indie horror game Among the Sleep. I don't know why I keep getting those confused, but I do. I'm still out in the middle of nowhere. I'm thirsty, so I'm running to the nearest water, which is lovely Reed Lake. I expect I would make this like a, a daily, a daily thing. Ugh. A nice morning trip. Actually, my, ugh, my neck is killing me today. Oh, I mean, I would definitely have some sort of water storage thing closer, and I expect I'll be able to build one. But for now, nothing. Ah, oh, that's still so damn pretty. So, um, today, let's just rush back, I, uh, so I built the kitchen, uh, yesterday, and today I'm setting my sights on the next thing to build. So there's the greenhouse, there's the brewing room, I reckon the storage is important, but I'm gonna have a hard time getting enough wood, I reckon. Oh look, it's actually bigger! I mean, obviously it's bigger, but it just it didn't occur to me to even look. My house is actually bigger. That is incredible. Um, so I reckon I need the crafting room next. Because I reckon that will let me build a axe, and then I can either just break down those crates or open those crates that I was finding. So, uh, I am just going to quickly cook something. Uh, not that. No... Yeah, cook that. Oh, look at my hands. They're odd. Odd looking hands. Oh, that feels health a lot. Okay, yeah. Alright, I'm just going to cook one more thing for the road. Because I reckon I'll be able to, like... Ooh, stack limit one, so you can't carry much. Restack. Okay, that didn't do anything. Uh, okay, so let's set this as tracking. Dump moss, I've got plenty of that, so it is just the planks. Hmm, horribly unappetizing, but that's okay. So I will drop off that. Okay, planks. So I'm going to go this way, which is presumably the way I came from, so I might actually find like an exit. Um, I did encounter bears. And uh, there was like a tooltip that popped up saying, Bears protect valuable loot, just like in real life. So uh, I want to find those bears and rob them for fun and profit. Oh, sorry, just... <clears throat> ah. oh, bed is not particularly comfortable for long term, it turns out. So, um, hmm... Ah, is this the river? And rocks? I wonder if these are pickaxable or if it's just the bear lichen. I've not been here before, have I? No, this is much wider than I remember. Oh, he's so damn pretty. Oh, I love this game. I love a good atmospheric pretty game. Oh, what is that weirdly round rock? Um, I also failed my attempt to get um, the five golden chanterelle. Again, I'll, I'll just I'll try that another time. What is that? Is that a rock or a house? A rock house. For some reason I was about to burst into song. What? Ah. Rock house, doo doo. It's got rocks and lots of trees in rock house, doo doo. I hope bears don't hear me singing and attack, doo doo. That's an original composition, um, honest. Hmm. Well, that's definitely a rock, and that is also definitely a rock. So, not rock house, just. Just, just rock. 
Look at the butterflies. And a dotty, I think. Yep. Pick that up. Ooh, golden chanterelle. <clears throat> nice. And sticks. I need sticks. Oh. I will eat that. Mmm. Very filling. Remarkably filling. For a sort of lumpy looking red stew. What is that noise? The eye has appeared. Ever watching. Ever roaming. Looking for the one ring. I don't know where the one ring is, bear. Honest. I don't know where you are, bear. Okay. Well, until I'm given reason to be afraid, I'm not going to be afraid. That's not how I will live my life. I've come out here to, to be free from fear. I would... Oh god, there's going to be like no anime or anything out here. No computer games. No anything. It's just trees. I'm having an existential crisis that I'm going to be just like alone here forever. With no video games or or nice things to watch. What is that? What is that? Oh, that's a glowing stick. <laughs> I saw something glowing. I saw movement and it turns out it was just my loot dar. Uh, what's a loot dar? Uh, it's this thing which allows me to detect... Right. So the, the eye is gone. It's moved on. Which means that Sauron the bear must be that way. Uh, yeah, I'm going to have to go towards it. Hmm, okay. Alright, Sauron. I will face you. I will show no fear in the face of the all-seeing eye. You're over here somewhere. And I will I will march upon the Black Gate. Sorry, I watched Lord of the Rings um, just before I came out here. Um... In real life, I did watch Lord of the Rings. Like, I spent most of last week watching Lord of the Rings with my mum. And uh, we both love Lord of the Rings. But yeah, anyway. Aha! That looks like Barajur. Hmm. Oh, there's Sauron. Hello! Hello, Sauron! You know, there's an achievement for surviving a Sauron attack. You see nothing. You are blind to all else that moves. Yikes, I'm getting quite close, aren't I? I need to go into the open, you see. I need to go over there, because there are... There are... Shite! Shite! No! Oh my god! Jesus! Buggery! Okay. Eek! <laughs> oh no! I mean, what's that? Bees! Bees defend me from Sauron! Fucking hell! Jesus Christ! I mean, I, I'm gonna have to eat my cooked food to stop myself from bleeding to death, apparently. Bloody hell! Okay. Note to self, if you're going to take on Sauron, take a blunderbuss. Bloody hell. Literally, like, I'm going to be in a bloody hell. Hmm. Okay, well, it's good to know that his initial charge is bloody quick. Alright, I am still bleeding. That is a problem. I was sort of hoping that eating some food would magically fix my bleeding problem. That, that's bad. That is, that is, that's, that's very bad. Um. 
Maybe this black current will help me stop bleeding. Rabbit! Rabbit, help! Clap! I'm bleeding. Oh god, this is totally how I die. Just in the middle of nowhere. And they'll be like, Hey, do you remember that guy Garen? Oh, is he the weirdo that went to live in the in the woods? Yeah, I haven't heard from him in, in ages. Ah, oh, he's probably still in the woods, don't worry. He'll come back if he needs us. No, I won't. Because I'm dead. Oh, look at my health just ticking away. Looting as I go. I'm hoping the washing will, will help, you see. Okay, washing did not help. This is so bad. I'm bleeding to death. Very, very slowly. Bleeding to death. Haven't even thought about, like, clamping the wound or... Actually, the health isn't going down. Yes, it is. Okay. Do you think running and increasing my heart rate is causing me to bleed out faster? Feels like it is. But then again, I'm not a doctor. I'm a weirdo who lives in the woods. What do I know? <sighs> oh, silly me. I'm bleeding to death, but I can't rest. It's not night time. Um... I'm assuming I can get, like, bandages in the crafting room? Oh, yes, you can make bandages from poison ivy. Or something like that. I don't... I don't have... Hmm. Yeah. Okay. I may bleed to death here. I guess what I need is to cook something that'll keep me healthy too. Aha! Chicory! Hickory chicory do! I'm going to drink some stew. I In the jar. And down you are. Uh, I think it just saved you. Oh, this is so bad. God, if I, what if I bleed out in my sleep? Okay, so cooking a single button mushroom will probably keep me alive. It's funny how all the stew looks exactly the same. Uh, eat. Alright, I'm still alive. My head is going a bit light. You know, despite still being alive, I have lost a lot of... Oh, a lot of... Yeah, I know I'm bleeding. Um, what does it expect me to do? Um, I'm going to have to hope that sleeping caused me to magically stop bleeding, because otherwise I'm just going to bleed out forever. So, um, fingers crossed. Day six. I'm still bleeding! Oh no! What the fuck am I supposed to do now? One option is max out my health, see if that helps. I'm hoping that, like, maxing out my health will cause me to magically stop bleeding. It did not. Okay, I quickly googled it. Um, it says you need the crafting room. So, apparently, that's something we're just going to have to learn to live with. Is there a way I can turn off the colours around the edge? Because I hate it. Vignette? Oh, I didn't even realise the vignette was on. I hate that too. Okay. Uh, there is nothing I can do. So I'm going to have to go and find some planks as quickly as my little legs can carry me because otherwise I am going to bleed to death. Apparently I have some sort of clotting disorder. I will not clot. So it's bleed out or bandage yourself are the two options apparently. Uh, it's like a, it's a public health notice. If you have a clotting disorder, don't go and live in the woods and avoid bears. So if you see the Eye of Sauron, run away. If you see bees, run away. Because you are probably going to die. This is not what I was hoping for my holiday. When I thought, oh, well, it's not even a holiday, I just live here now. When I thought to myself, I want to move to the, the wilderness. I want to find a cabin, that'd be nice. And then just start living there. How much space do I have? Not much. Probably gonna have to chuck that. Um, right, lingonberries will keep me alive for now. Uh, I'll I'll move to the wilderness. I'll make friends with some wild animals. Um, if I see a bear, 
I will call it names and then run away. I did not anticipate bleeding to death over the period of many days because of my clotting disorder. <sighs> I mean, this is very pretty and all. It's a little bit hard to enjoy it, given that I am, and I'm sorry to keep harping on about this, bleeding to death. Really does put a bit of a downer on things, doesn't it? Um, oh yeah, there were a load of like other suggestions for names uh, for this area. There was the Far Pine, that was one I did see, which is a pretty name. Uh, someone made a point of like, it might not be the best idea to make it sort of channel-centric, like a reference to, to something, because Far Pine is, is of course a reference to the thing I always name uh, ships or spaceships or stuff like the Far Wind, the Far Stream, etc. It's just, I don't know why, I just, I love it. So, oh, so calling it the Far Pine is sort of pandering to, to me, which... <gasps> okay, I don't see the Eye of Sauron, so I think I'm okay to loot this place. Alright, I just want planks. So I need 12. I think I've got two planks. Right, I'm going to ignore everything that is not planks. Because I, I really, I'm so desperate for planks, I will literally die if I do not get planks right now. Okay, five. No. No, no, don't tell me that's all. Come on, there gotta be more planks. But yeah, there's still like stuff like um, the yellow, yellow ash grove or yellow ash retreat. Uh, retreat is a bit of a sort of popular thing to put in it. Oh no, I'm, I'm bleeding out in my inventory. This is horrendous. Oh no, I should have cooked some more white button before I came out. Oh, this is such a terrible situation. I'm sorry that today it's all doom and gloom, but I am, and I've, I've once again, so sorry to keep bringing this up, bleeding to death. It does sort of cast a bit of a red pall over everything, doesn't it? So you're just sprinting around, desperately looking for the materials you need to build the special room in which you can then make bandages. Gonna be honest? tad of a black mark against this game. You can start to bleed, but there is absolutely no physical way to stop it until you have a crafting room. That is not good design. Lingonberry, thank god. Okay. Well, I'm fairly sure some of the sticks have actually respawned since I started, because I'm sure, like, where I found some of the sticks today, there were previously no sticks. I'm not even taking in the sights, I'm just so desperate now to get this crafting room. I was planning on taking my time. I mean, this has it's taught me a very valuable lesson. Don't go near bears. Um, if you do go near bears, don't mock them. And if you do mock bears, if you do go near bears and then proceed to mock the bears, um, hide well are the three life lessons that I, I, I impart upon you all today. Uh, button mushrooms are good because they are literally going to keep me alive. But I will need to go home soon because, oh, my health is getting so low. I'm probably going to have to come out either again later or again tomorrow looking for, um, for more bloody planks. Because I'm going to die otherwise. Oh, thistle root. Don't have time. We discovered that I still bleed out while I'm looking at stuff. Oh, no. You monster. You did this to me. Bloody, bloody, bloody Sauron. I mean, this is forcing me to face mortality right now. I don't know what happens when I die. Like, is there an afterlife? Um, will I just respawn? Is this actually purgatory? It's going to um, it's gonna raise all sorts of questions, I can tell. Because I'm not going to get back in time. I left it too late. Lingonberry. Lingonberry. Ling, 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 ling. Oh, sorry, Thistleroot. I don't care. Sorry, Thistleroot. I don't care. Okay. Bleeding and dehydrated. Great! There's home. I'm so low on health. It is, frankly, absurd how low on health I am right now. Okay, okay. Cook. Uh, no. One. Cook. Shit. Shit! Oh... Oh, that's so bad. Fantastic. <laughs> oh, 
Come on, game. If you're going to produce like a fail state, give me a way to avert it without having to progress a certain part in the game. Come on. Right. Um, I'm going to leave it there. I'm going to pause because I need all the bloody time I have, apparently. I'm going to have to load up on button mushroom stuff and go searching for fur planks because otherwise I'm just going to be stuck in a death loop forever. Uh, coincidentally, I did recently play Death Loop. Not the point, just wanted to mention that because of the convenient wording. Right, thank you very much for watching. I'm going to be back with more soon. I really don't hope I don't have to like restart because I've just like screwed myself. But anyway, thank you very much for watching. I'll be back with more Among the Trees soon and I will catch you later.